Hey, good morning, dreamers. The saga continues. Trusses. We found out what happened exactly. So first of all, the engineering firm, we'll leave all names out of this because I don't want to throw anyone under the bus, their actual business name under the bus. But the engineering firm drew it wrong. They drew something that had basically a four inch hill that would not support the weight. You know, the trusses have a huge gap in between them and that gap that occurs that you saw in this video right here is actually because of the staircase that has to go all the way up and up to the floor of the attic. And so they had to have that gap. Well, that gap creates weakness and instability. So to compensate for that, what you're supposed to do is increase what's called the heel size of the truss. A normal truss might have a four inch heel on it. Well, when the company that builds the trusses got the plans, they saw this and saw what a problem was gonna be as far as the ceiling flexing and bowing and just having major structural issues over time. And they decided to put a two foot heel on without making a phone call to anyone. A 30 second phone call could have solved this and we could have said, oh man, the engineer's missing that. that. Not only the engineering firm that we paid to design it, but the, the structural engineers down at the county missed it as well. And so we could have gone back and redrawn things instead of building it, paying framers to put it on, renting a crane, doing all that stuff. So spoke with our builder this morning. You know, he said that the, the company that built the trusses is really happy to work with us and, and said, hey, they're gonna build new trusses for us at cost. So about $8,600 for the ones that need to be replaced. And he was feeling like that was a pretty good deal. And I'll be honest, I, I don't think it is at all. Um, you know, I know there are gonna be a lot of things, changes that we make or upgrades that we choose along the way. And I'm happy to pay for those things. Those things just make sense to pay for. Uh, when someone makes a mistake like the engineering firm drawing something incorrectly or the trust company just making an executive decision without calling, see they didn't know when they, they really th were trying to do us a favor, it was all good intentions. Um, they said, well we'll just lift it up two feet and give it the support it needs. Well they didn't know, they don't know all the circumstances surrounding building the house and that we were bumping up against a maximum height for our home already. If they had just made a 30 second phone call, they would have known that this all could have been diverted. So in my mind, maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like what would make things whole and right is getting the new trusses built and on the roof back to where we currently are today and the only loss we have is time, like two weeks time. So whether that's the engineering firm and the trust company splitting those costs, uh, because again, yeah, like I said, it's, it's not just what's the cost of the new trusses. Well, what's the cost to tear the current ones off? What's the cost to get the framers back out? It was six or seven guys out there, you know, they had two crews on it to position these things. What's the cost of renting the crane? We got to get the total cost and we got to find out, okay, this is the figure that we need these two entities, however they want to divvy it up, to pay for to make it whole and make it right for the mistakes that were made. We went up in the attic and we love the height of it. So changing the pitch from a 912 to an 812, yeah, it'll bring us one inch, one inch under code. We are like skirting it close. It would meet code, but what it does do is it changes our roof from like a, it feel, I think it's like 11, 10, 11 feet down to, you know, it's probably even more. Gosh, it's so high. Uh, but it changes it to where basically it's a nine foot ceiling. So it's just kind of about a foot above my reach here. The ideal scenario is Mandy wants to go down to the county, even though our builder did and they said, no, there's no variance, there's no option for anything. Um, you know, they were not wanting to work at all. Um, she wants to talk to the county. She feels like she's got maybe some feminine persuasion, a little bit softer energy, maybe ask some questions that weren't asked because she thinks like a woman and us men, you know, we may not have the same logic or thought process, which is true. It's a fine line. What we don't want to do is end up ticking some people off out the county when we still need them to sign off on the house like at three more stages. That's the last thing we want to do. So it's like we want to be firm. We want to ask, hey, here's what's going on. Um, here's the simple fact. The engineering department, that's where it all started wrong. The reason why you pay I don't know what ours was, like 30 grand, 20 something, high 20s, 30 grand 
for a building permit and why you have to ask permission from government employees to do everything on your house is in the name of safety as opposed to liberty. And this lit by them. So we could have a tall attic the way we want. We could have, the trust company could have just built it with four inch uh, heels on it so it wasn't over the zoning limit. But you know what would have happened? We would have had a house and a third floor that was structurally unsound and unsafe to be on. And that's on the county, they missed that. And so I just feel like when stuff like that occurs and an adjustment was made to make it safe, and that's the whole reason why I'm paying the county to make it safe for me to live in and they miss it and mess it up, it's like, guys, flex with us a little bit, work with us, let's come up with a solution that doesn't mean delaying the process two to four weeks because we've got to rebuild these trusses, reschedule people to get out there to put them on in a building environment where everything's crazy and no one can get framers. Like, work with us. You guys made an error, just work with us. Guys, <laughs> wish us luck, we need it. All right, so we left our builder's office and I guess I severely misunderstood what he was saying and I wasn't the only one. His son who works with him said, hey, dad, were you, were you trying to say that the cost of the mistake was gonna be, like, add to the price of their home? He's like, no, not at all. That's something we're gonna have to work out amongst ourselves and, and the subs that we've hired to do this. And he's like, well, to me, it sounded like you were telling Jared that he's gonna cover this accident, you know, this mistake that was made by multiple entities. And he said, no, not at all. So he, he clarified that with us. He's gonna get it all squared away. I hope it doesn't completely fall on them because of any of the three parties, the architect, the engineer, the structure company, he has the least to do with it what happened. Um, I know he oversees everything, so the buck kind of stops with him and I appreciate him taking ownership of it. I really don't want to see them get stuck with that either. I want this to be a profitable uh, endeavor for them. Uh, all in all, it's probably going to take us all maybe an extra three weeks that it wouldn't have taken. We might end up with a smaller square footage up in the attic with shorter roofs. Um, so what we're going to do, we're still going to the county. He thinks we're crazy. He's like, you're not going to make any headway there. Which is probably true. Which but. is probably true, but it's one of those situations. Here's a little life lesson. When you get to the end of life, you will regret the things you didn't do far more than the things you did do. And so this is just one of those small little things that we can go and we can do. And it's a little awkward and uncomfortable to have a, a difficult conversation with someone and be a little, a little firm and pushy maybe. But... <laughs> Oh. This was too early to kind of solve, try and tackle these kinds of problems, too early in the morning. Um, but it's one of those things where, you know, if we go do it and they tell us no, which is like 99.9% .9 the likelihood of what's going to happen, we can say, hey, at least we tried. If we don't try, we'll always wonder. And we don't, we don't look back and regret things and we try not to focus on the past, but there's that little piece of you that's like, I wonder if I had tried to talk through it if they would have worked with us. We're gonna eliminate that. We're gonna go and do something so that we eliminate regret. And uh, so, here we go. Okay, so after spending about two and a half hours at the county and talking to lots of different people, there are actually a couple of options here. So there's, it's gonna to take too long to do like a normal try and get a variance. Now, the director of planning said that if someone in building in the building department can say hey this is placing a, a burden on them not a financial burden but a structural burden because if had we built it the way it was designed and approved it would have been a problem he said if, if he'll sign off on that and kind of comment and letter you know that you have a really good chance that a board that makes exceptions would approve you and actually give that to you now they don't meet till three weeks from now but he's kind of thinking that he might be able to pull together a brief but special kind of emergency meeting in the next few days to do that. Really hopeful that that might work. Literally in the last five minutes right before we left, he said, the guy that kept saying no, 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 said, you know what, if it's within a few inches, <laughs> this is my builder Mel here, I'll tell you what we're doing. We're going out to the lot to remeasure. He said if we can get within a few inches, he's gonna call it 35, so here we go. Hey. God. Dreamers, what a day. Holy cow. Um, apologize you didn't get to see more of my family today. And then I also didn't get to record more of the process. You know, it wouldn't have been appropriate to uh, take a camera and start recording government employees. I don't think 
uh, that would have gotten me anywhere as far as uh, earning any concessions uh, for what we're needing to do here. So I did go out to the lot with our builder and uh, you know we, I climbed up to the very top of the house and we measured stuff. And what it worked out to be is 36 feet. Again, we're dealing with a max height of 35 feet from top of house to the final grade and we were 36 feet just to the top, from the top of the house to the top of the foundation. Your grade can come up about six inches below uh, the foundation. And so we're a foot and a half out, which puts us way too far out for the whole, you know, option B that he threw out in the last five minutes saying, hey, if we're within a few inches, I'll call it 35 feet. We're not gonna get up and measure it. Uh, but once you start reaching a foot, it's a no-go. So we're going with option A. Um, I've got a board, try and cover up some of the basic county information here, but um, I've got a board of adjustment review packet here. I've done about an hour and a half of studying um, when it comes to variances given for uh, height restrictions and then probably another two and a half hours of writing. You can see here I've got it all kind of prepped. Uh, and ready to go. Ended up being five pages. 1,495 words. I kind of feel like I need to adjust something so that I end right at 1,500. There's something like perfect about a round number and 1,500 is so substantial. It's, it's far more than 1,495. <laughs> so anyway, I, you know, I'm, I'm speaking in, in their language with legalese and big words and terms and I hope that when they read this, they realize, holy cow, you know, I bet most people fill this out. You know, they gave me a little packet, not little, but there are all these essay question type squares where I'm supposed to like hand write something, I guess. And so I'm just gonna write, you know, see this section of this document uh, where I've answered it all. And I hope they see that, oh, this isn't a guy who, I'm sure so, so many times they just get, I'm sure so many times they get just, you know, these packets with one or two sentences in each box and hopefully they see the amount of effort that I put into building a case and then reading the case and saying, wow, like that really makes sense. Like his argument is incredibly sound, at least I think it is. But you know, there's really not much to lose here. It was a bit of a time investment, um, $225 just for them to read my spiel and consider it and uh, whether or not they approve it, you know, that money's uh, the investment that you make to be heard. That's, uh, that's your cost of dining with the king. So anyway, um, it is late and so late. It's the next day late <laughs> and I got to get to bed and, and then early in the morning get take this down there and submit it and see how soon we can get kind of what they suggested was like an emergency adjustment uh, review scheduled. Um, because otherwise it wouldn't be until this looks like this packet says they do it every second and fourth Thursday So in a couple of days is the first Thursday of the month. And so uh, anyway got it all done completed and uh, just Fingers crossed guys that uh, you know after this video we can post some type of construction Christmas miracle video and give you the good news that uh, they approved us and that we were able to continue sheeting our house, windows, exterior doors, and uh, just move along our way here before winter hits us hard. So thanks for coming along with this ride. Uh, hopefully this video helped you if you're thinking about building and you might be bumping into not only building heights, but maybe just other codes and ordinances that you have to comply with and, um, and just what it looks like to kind of wade through that process when, when certain things happen and occur that are maybe outside of your control. Uh, they weren't self-imposed, but imposed upon you um, and uh, how, how you might go about dealing with it. So until next time, keep dreaming. Bye.